Hello, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. Hey, in this video, I want to show you something. You see this? A simple earring, right? This was a gift to me, but it was one of these gifts. It wasn't wrapped in a package. It wasn't, you know, something someone went and got at a store. It was actually someone who I befriended in a group early on, and this was when my gifts were opening. And when she handed it to me, I have a gift that is called psychometry. What is that? What that actually means is you can tell the story or feel the essence or feel the emotions surrounding something. For me, as a twin flame healer, this goes much deeper. What I felt was slave girl. Now, don't these look like the kind of earrings that, you know, a dancer would wear someone who was doing the dance of the seven veils or something like that. That's what came to me because my gift opens up the scene to see where was that person hurt, traumatized, held, bounded to someone, bonded to someone, trauma bonded or whatever. This is how my gift is. It is also very, what I would call on the lighter side even though I can see all the dire circumstances and even feel it because I do feel it. What happens is I can heal it. Okay, we can get that moving. We can get that unplugged. We can actually rewrite it for this person. Now, how powerful is that? How many chronic illnesses can be healed by addressing the past, by addressing traumas properly and doing it very, very seamlessly. Now, sometimes this does take more than one session, of course, because, hey, Rome wasn't built in a day. It's not going to be dismantled in a day. Your body gives you signals, and we call those symptoms. Okay, do you have symptoms? Well, what are those signaling? What are the messages? Pain doesn't always have to be a messenger. In this time frame, especially as we go through the end of April, you are gearing up here for a season change. And so the energy will be intense because change is the underlying theme. What can you change? Is there something small you can change? Is there something large you can change? You know, if for a lot of people, they may say like, well, you know, based on my religion, I decided to refrain from sweets or something like that. Well, that's fine. That's a change that you can make. But what about some of the other deeper changes? When you work with me, I outline that for you and I give you instructions based on very high guidance. It is my personal mission to help people with chronic illnesses, with their signals from their body, also known as ascension symptoms, so that you can put it behind you, get healthier, get weaned off of whatever, and let's move on. Let's get into that upper level, get into a new vibration. I have a short story to share, and it's kind of upsetting to me, but uh, someone I used to work with her daughter died. Now, her daughter wasn't young, like she was 31. She was young, okay, but she had lived some life. She wasn't uh, a child or an infant. She was diabetic. And I saw her just two days ago, and I said, are you keeping busy? And she said, well, we finally have some answers. My daughter died from uh, ketoacidosis. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is where the body kind of goes awry and starts turning everything to alcohol and it poisons a person and it can put them into a comatose state and some people, now she was fairly disciplined, but then she said something else interesting. She said, we found out she was rationing her insulin. Now, if you do this, if you feel you have to do this, please know that here the laws have changed to keep the prices down. But like I said, I am on a mission to help use the brand new light body to help people 
rid themselves of the past. Every chronic illness has its roots in the past in one way, shape, or form or another. It's in your ancestry, it's in lifestyle, and it shouldn't be there for your brand new life. I'm here to help you. Reach out to me. Check out my website. And I hope you have a great day. Uh, this was very upsetting news. I could tell that she had some form of closure in order to, you know, just kind of move on. I mean, she was a good girl too. Like she was very involved with volunteer work. And, you know, these things come up from the past. There are reasons. And I know what the reasons are, but even more importantly, if this is new to you, please know that the love that you feel, the love you experienced, it goes so deep and it is really in your best interest. It is. So don't listen to the naysayers out there. We have ways right here at my channel, at this website, and I hope you have a good day. Okay, take care. Bye.